Hi, dear students. The term of our lecture is networks and telecommunications. I think it's more interesting term for you. At first, I want to tell you the plan of lecture. The plan of lecture is concept and devices, date transfer devices, transmission medium, and types of networks. And second, stack protocols. In network, have more protocols. It's TCP/IP. OSI and IP addressing, local and wide area networks, wire and wireless network technologies, then the third DHCP protocol, technologies of connection to the internet, and the last one telecommunication technologies. At first, I want to about and to talk about a network. A computer network is a group of computers that shares information ac across wireless or wired technology. Computer networks used to only be available for corporations, but they are affordable for small businesses and individuals. Computer networking requires two computers, a protocol and the hardware to connect them. I think that all of you, what is it? Router. Router is the basic hardware needed for a computer network is a router and network cards. A router directs traffic to the different computers. A router is similar to a traffic light. It handles network traffic and sends it to the different segments of the network. And also, I want to talk about the network card. Network card is required so the computers can communicate. A network card is an integral part of a computer network because it provides the computer a way to send and retrieve data. What is a protocol? A protocol is a set of rules that governs the communications between computers on a network. These rules include guidelines that regulate the following characteristics of a network. For example, access method, allowed physical topologies, types of cabling, and speed of data transfer. And next main term is a server. A server is a part of the network. It's a machine with massive storage capabilities and faster processing, so multiple users can save and use resources. And the next term is a client. The term client is given to the multiple user computers on the network. The client logs into the network on the server and is given permissions to use resources on the network. Client computers are normally slower and require permissions on the network, which separates them from server computers. What is network cabling? Cable is the medium through which information usually moves from one network device to another. There are several types of cable which are commonly used with LANs. In some cases, a network will utilize only one type of cable. Other networks will use a variety of cable types. The type of cable chosen for a network is related to the network's topology, protocol and the size understanding the characteristics of different types of cable and how they relate to other aspects of a network is necessary for the development of a successful network. Here you can see the types of cables. First type in unshielded twisted pair, second is coaxial cable and the third is fiber optic cable. In our networks have the categories. Uh, here I want to talk the types of networks. First, LAN. LAN it means location, 
local area network and man man it's a metropolitan area network and the one it's mean white area network so talk the definitions of these terms a local area network LAN is a network that is confined to a relatively small area. It is generally limited to a geographic area such as a writing lab, school or building. Rarely are LAN computers more than a mile apart. Then the next one, MAN. MAN is a network that spans an entire city. And the third one, when it's a network of networks. Typically, these networks are remote to each other and use communication links such as the satellites and the existing telephone system to communicate with each other. So, let's talk about the types of networks. Various configurations called topologies have been used to administer lens. The first type of network is a, is a ring topology, a configuration that connects all nodes in a closed loop on which messages travel in one direction. And next one is our star topology. Star topology, it's a configuration that centers around one node to which all others are connected and through which all messages are sent. And the third, bus topology. It's all nodes are connected to a single. Here you can see the topologies of networks. Network topology the, is the light or organizational hierarchy of interconnected nodes of a computer networks. There are some types of topologies. Ring topology here you can see ring as a ring. Mesh topology then star topology like star and the fully connected and line topology is a, as like line and uh, here you can see the tree topology like tree and the bus topology it's also like bus I think this figure, these pictures is understand now let's talk about the protocols TCP IP it's mean transmission, control, protocol, and the internet protocol. Standard originally developed by the US government to link defense research agencies. It's the primary communication protocol of the internet. And also SNA, it means Systems Network Architecture. Then LAN, it's IBM communication protocol for LAN and also Ethernet and also we have protocol standard developed for LANs using a bus topology. Let's talk about the wire and wireless network topologies. Here you can see the terms about wireless LANs, about Bluetooth, about other wireless systems. The wireless verb we use in our smartphones and also you can see here the other types of protocols and technologies of connection to the internet you can see and IP addresses and the telecommunication technologies here you can see the communications how communicate all of the information in the internet and the transmission of data from one computer to another and telecommunications communications and telecommunications you can see here are the pictures how we use the communication and networks. In the end, we have some control questions. You must answer for these questions and you do our tests. So, goodbye dear students.